Some Christians are losing their faith because their prayers don't work. When they have had faith that God would heal them, they did not get better. And when they have prayed for others to get better on their sickbed, they die. They're losing their faith because they see there's no power in church. And the prayers of the congregation are useless. And so they just lose their faith. They become agnostic or atheist. But I want to tell you something. Faith in itself is no ticket into heaven. There are some people who believe that martyrdom is their ticket into heaven. And they have full faith that if they are martyred, they will go to be with God. There are Christians that believe with full faith that if they're on their sickbed and refuse a doctor, that God will come to their rescue and heal them, but they die on their sickbed. Why is that? That is because their faith is not in the truth. True faith is backed with obedience to Jesus Christ. And unless you're really following Jesus, unless you've really repented of your sins, your faith is worthless. You might as well run to the doctors and run to all the witches who can help you because that would be more effective than your faith. But if you want Jesus' help, you, need, you really need to repent of your sins. I want to tell you that I, for myself, have answered prayers. And Jesus comes to my rescue when I call on him. But I repented of my sins. And he speaks to me and leads me as my father because I repented to follow him. But if you haven't repented, you don't have the privilege of the things that come from God. But the curse of God is on your head. So I want to encourage you to really repent of dead faith. Don't have faith in things that will not count. But rather repent of your sins and follow Jesus in utter obedience. That way your prayers may be answered as my prayers are answered. And you may be in a right relationship with Jesus. I hope that you really repent of your sins and don't have the faith that these Christians have. That have a dead useless faith. And God does not hear their prayers. May the grace of Jesus be with you and not his curse.